Okay, we're going to tear this bridge down today. It served its purpose when I needed it. Uh, there's a slight hill there. It really bothered me in my back when uh, you had to haul things back here or from there to here. And this made it easier to get a wheelbarrow across it. Uh, I just want it's it's I used old lumber it's not in good shape it's broken in places it, it was a bad build so I'm gonna get it out of here and figure out what else if there if I even want to do another one or just leave it alone but when you live out in a national forest all this caught on fire in 2015 all the way around me and the fire department you need to leave room for a fire truck to get around your house if you can. That way they, they dumped water all the way, drove all the way around the house several times and uh, dropped water. That created a fire break. Uh, and if they cannot get around your house or you know have access to all parts of it, you, you might be in trouble. So this really isn't in the way. But, and I also need to get this thing finally cut up and out of here. But it's just rotted and it needs to go so that's that's also on the project list so we're going to get this thing tore down today i don't like burning bridges i'll take it down piece by piece and then i got these bricks i bought a year or so ago i need to figure out a project for these things there's 48 of them uh last year i just did this number planted some marigolds around my tomatoes so it would attract the the bees but and it's the same color as my house so if y'all got any ideas put them in the comments and uh, I'm sure there's better use for them than sitting there in a pile holding my drill so give me some give me some ideas and uh, whoever gets the winning idea I will send a Twinkie via FedEx because I got a whole box of them in there from the party and I got 87 bags of barbecue chips. <laughs> Various other things. Uh, good folks brought a lot of good food out there. And, and I know that cost them some money. And, uh, and I won't let it go to waste. So anyway, I'm going to get to it. Get this bridge down. We're going to get some of this old lumber picked up. And cleaned up around here. And uh, let's get to work drill work. Where's my drill? Got ten different kinds of screws in here. Let's see. Ah, uh, Phillips head. I hate Phillips head. I'm covered in sweat again. Yeah, about an hour. It's gone. Never even know it was there. There's what remains of the wood. What I didn't haul to the fire pit. Uh, and there was some post in the ground. You got to make sure you fill the holes in when you pull post out. You know, we got wildlife around here. There's, you never know what could fall in. And more likely it'd be me. So I got that taken care of. 
now I just got to move those rocks, big ones. I'll get my two-wheel dolly, and uh, they move real easy with that. You just stand them right up and put them where you want them. But rocks like that are useful. And just got that pile of debris. I'll burn it there in place once the fire hazard goes away. But there it is, another, another project I can mark off the list. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything there. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it, leave it alone. Cause I can always walk over here where it's not steep and get up the hill. I don't need to go up there. So we'll get that off the list. And another project for the list. I'm gonna make them a bigger, bigger area out here. I've got plenty of T-posts, plenty of fence. I've got a big pile of this netting. This is what I put over it. Keeps most predators out, other than the snakes, they'll get in. I got a rat snake gets in there once in a while looking for eggs, but they don't ever bother the chickens. I had to deal with those at the ranch all the time. You just leave them alone. You know, they keep keep the bad stuff away too. Uh, yeah, but I got room here, and it is always shady over here. This is the best spot on the property. This is about the only sun they get early in the morning. And if it's too much for them, they'll go inside. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna expand this. You know, it doesn't kill chickens to be cooped up. You know, they get used to it. But I'd still like to have them, let them have a little more room. You know, as long as I got the materials, might as well let them have it. Now Waddles, you don't want him getting out because he's you know, he's got that that walking problem. So he couldn't run real fast away. He could fly. He can fly a little bit, but I don't want him out here. And these hens are old. They're content. They don't need to be free ranging. It's just too. It would drive my dogs nuts. They they're not raised around chickens, so that's why they don't free range. Uh, maybe one day when the dogs are all gone, I'll I'll get some free ranging chickens. But then you got all the stray dogs. The, the dogs people just allow them to run loose. There's no way to keep them away. So it's a terrible place for chickens. It's a free range. So I mean, it's about the only way you can keep them here. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this uploaded and start on the next project. Waddles, you got anything to say to anybody? Yeah. He don't want to be on camera this morning. One handsome dude, Waddles. Them ladies like you. Yeah. Everybody's telling me that you're the you're the man. What do you think, Waddles? He likes it.